what is going on everyone it's keebs and we are going to be doing our weekly progress update here for langrisser and i did not play any apex arena this past weekend but i will talk about that at the end of this video so let's go ahead and start by talking about summons because we did get a new banner with this most recent update and i got mystery knight and i got varash right I ended up summoning in this banner. It only took me 50 pulls to get both of them, which was pretty exciting. I don't normally get that kind of level of luck. Usually, for me, pity is pretty standard, but I got pretty lucky in this one. I got Mystery Knight in 40, and then the pull right after was Varash. And I ended up getting greedy because of getting them within only 50 pulls. And I think I spent another 70 pulls or so to get one more copy of Mystery Knight. So she is now at 4 stars. I won't be able to use her for a very, very long time. Because I can't afford to farm shards for her. There's so many other heroes that just need shards right now. That I can't afford to farm her. So she is currently on hold for who knows how long. I hope that I can get around to building her. Because I think that she'd be really strong for rounding out my strategic master side uh, of my box as far as what I use for PvE because for when it comes to PvE I I kind of play around with using both strategic masters and origins of light not really too interested in playing other factions just because I'm so heavily invested in these ones um, but yeah mystery knight I do have her and I have Varash I did not do a summoning video though so um, yeah no video for that but I do have both of them. I actually didn't do any bonds this week. So, no bonds. And let's move in right into training grounds. And as far as training grounds go, I've only done one thing, and that is I missed, I maxed out my group charge. So, group charge is done. I don't really think there's any other cavalry soldiers that I want to upgrade anytime soon. So, since there's not really any other cavalry that I would, I have too much interest in, I'm going to be leaving the Cavalry Tech Tree alone for a very, very long time. Who knows if I'll ever come back, but I would like to max out HP and Magic Defense and Defense if I can. But those are much lower priority compared to maxing out attack for my other classes. So I'm currently working on my Archer and Assassin training because they are extremely weak and archers and assassins already have problems killing stuff so i really need to make sure that this is 70 percent so that i can start killing stuff especially since i want my soldiers to compensate for my lack of strong enchants so yeah that's pretty much it the only thing that's happened for training grounds is i maxed out group charge um, coming into the bag i am extremely irritated with the fact that because of the most recent update um, or at least the past update, which kind of broke Apex Arena. If you'll remember, the Season Rewards here were showing as the Season 2 Rewards, which was um, Farrakia and the Masked Maid skin. And because they had to fix that with the most recent update, it ended up actually breaking the rewards. You had to, <clears throat> you had to play one match of Apex for the game to remember what tier you were in. For you to qualify to get your rewards and since i didn't play any apex this past weekend i didn't qualify to get my apex arena scrolls for this week so i'm missing out on a week's worth of progress um or at least a week's worth of scrolls i don't know if i can say that's a week's worth of progress but i missed out on the scrolls unfortunately as well as the ancient beckoning or not ancient beckoning but the the mastery stones so missing out on a week of upgrades at least and it sucks. It sucks. But it is what it is. I can't really do anything about it. Uh, moving on, we have some gear that we've picked up. I got an extra Cloak of Defiance. This is one of my favorite pieces of gear. So, gonna hold on to that one for sure. I ended up getting an extra King's Crown. Don't know who to give this one to, but it's a pretty good helm, so I'm holding on to that as well. Also, ended up getting an extra Oler's Bow, which I don't really have a use for, because... I only have one that I need for Illustriel, and then the other four I don't really have a use for. And then I got an extra Oath of Justice, which I originally did want an extra Oath of Justice for my Freya, but I ended up just stealing Listel's Oath of Justice since, since I don't use her anymore. So, yeah, I don't really need that Oath of Justice, but I'm going to hold on to it just because it's kind of a rare drop, at least for me. 
<clears throat> so, moving into heroes, this is where all the major stuff has happened. For heroes, my Leon and my Estelle both got their 3 cost skills. Haven't really been able to play around with either of them. For the most part, I just use Leon with two attack skills and chivalry. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I kind of just end up running him that way. I can now use him with his faction buff, but I don't feel like Leon does too much for my Apex box. He is currently actually working as a stand-in for my unfortunately destroyed Gerald and Layla. Their Dark Knight class has been absolutely ruined by the most recent update. And since their 3 cost skill sucks now, I don't really have a use for their gear. So I decided to go ahead and take their Dark Knight gear and hand that over to my Leon. So he now has a Hand of Tear. I don't plan to use him long term for Apex because if you'll remember what happened with my Apex box is I ended up replacing some heroes and one of them was I replaced my Sophia. And I want to bring back one more healer into my box so I can have four healers just because I think that it's going to help me much more in my pick ban phase. So I'm actually planning to replace my Leon and swap him out so I can bring Imelda back in because she is going to get an interesting 3 cost skill in the future. I like the fact that she now with Awakening, at least as soon as I do Awaken her, can run Regrowth, Mass Heal, and Dispel for constant healing, which is pretty nice. So I want to bring Imelda back into my box. She will help me out with dealing with lots of debuffs. So if I run into Bozels, I can use her as my protection against that. And then I don't have to be as heavily pressured to pick, you know, to, to ban out Bozels rather than someone else. So yeah, Imelda, I'm thinking I'm going to be maxing her out next. But another thing is, another gear swap thing that has happened is my Leon Heart. Since I finally switched my D Heart over into his Assassin class, that allowed me to go ahead and take his Demon Slayer and give it to my Leon Heart, who is now running a clock gear. The only thing that I need to do is max out this, this equipment here. And as soon as I max this all out, he will be ready to go. Um, I'm really enjoying clock. It's making autoing goblins much easier. I don't really have to worry about having to cancel the auto on the fifth turn anymore and I can let it auto all the way through now which is pretty nice. So uh, Leon Hart will be fully maxed out once again very soon. Another thing that's happened is my Silver Wolf. I got his helm. I was a little disappointed to find out that his helm doesn't work on enemy phase. It only works on player phase. Kind of sucks. But the, the helm is really nice for using him in PvE just because he can attack mages and stuff and kill them off before they can hit him because in PvE, basically none of the enemies ever run buffs. So he ends up being extremely powerful for PvE, especially since he has a really nice kit for it with the extra attack and defense and being able to steal buffs. So Silverwolf, he'll be doing me a lot of good hopefully, and yeah, I'm enjoying his, his helm that he just got. So that happened, and finally we ended up getting my Kurama to 5 stars as well as my Hiei to 5 stars. So currently I'm leaning towards, um, you can see here I have 0 out of 150 and 0 out of 150 here. I'm currently leaning towards farming up Estelle to 6 stars first before Kurama. Uh, reason for that being tanks are a pretty core member to a team if you do pick a tank for PvP. And a, a tank that can't tank sucks. So I'm probably going to go ahead and try to 6 star my Estelle so that I can have her full powered. And able to, to really contribute for my Apex box. So that's currently what I'm leaning towards as far as my box goes. And I think that is everything for this week. So finally, the last thing to talk about is Apex Arena. So um, sorry once again to anyone who is looking forward to the, the Apex stream this, this past weekend. But 
uh, some some very heavy real life stuff just happened, and uh, this Friday, um, my dog unexpectedly had some an unexpected major health complication, and um, we ended up losing him. I guess is is what there is to say. So I ended up losing my dog, and. It's, it's just been a little bit of a hard time, so I was just not really in the mood to play Apex Arena on Saturday and Sunday, so I decided to just take those days off um, and, and just not play. So I'm hoping to get back into it this coming weekend, but I just felt like I needed to take that, you know, that week off to, to try to regather myself after this past, this past Friday. Um, last thing is his, his birthday was actually supposed to be tomorrow, St. Patrick's Day. So had him for about 12 years. This would have been his 12th year. And I don't know there's just been a little bit of a, an empty spot after, after Friday and trying to, to regather my thoughts after that has been just been a little bit weird. So that's why I've just not been putting out videos lately. I am planning to get back into it, but I just needed a little bit of time to to reevaluate some stuff with with what's happened. So, yeah, that's that's basically that's basically everything that I think there is to talk about this week um, for for Langrisser. One last thing is. Um, if you do want to see my regular summoning videos, I can't remember if I said this earlier, but if you do want to see my summoning stuff for banners that are not crossovers, let me know. Just just if you want to see those things, but otherwise I'm probably just going to go ahead and continue with just doing them off recording and then only doing recordings for crossovers. But yeah, if you want to see those videos, let me know. Also, if you want to see reviews on these guys, let me know. But um, I really haven't thought too much about either of these two, but if you if you're interested in hearing my opinion, I can go ahead and do some more research and let me know down in the comments. But that's gonna be the end of this week's progress update. Thank you all for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Bye bye.